Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today I will show you a cool typography background animation inside of After Effects. I got this idea from Envato Elements, and I thought I should share this technique with you guys. This is very cool looking typography background animation, and I will show you the easiest way to create that. And trust me, it will be fun to create that inside of After Effects. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Let's take the type tool, and type a text you like. Just try to use a long sentence. Because it looks better with long sentences. Hold ALT and double click on this pan behind tool to center the anchor point. Align the text to the center. Now select the layer, and press CTRL plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Hide one of them for now. Open the other layer, click on this animate button, and select opacity. Turn down the opacity all the way to zero. Open range selector 1. On the first frame, add a keyframe on start, then go forward to the time and change its value to 100. Then go few more frames, and change its value to zero again. So this is simple animation. Let's make it interesting. Hold ALT key, and click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type wiggle 2 comma 50. Now go to the advanced option, and turn on the randomize order. Also increase the random seed value to a random number. Now it will keep animating to the end of the timeline. You can change the color from here, if you want. Now turn on the second layer, and enable only stroke for this text. So after that it should look like this. Nice. Let's select the both layers, and pre-compose them. Let's call it text1. Now double click to open this composition. Then press Ctrl plus K to open the composition settings. And adjust the composition area according to the text. You can change this anytime you want. Now go to Effects and Presets, and search for Motion Tile. Apply it on the layer. Then increase the value of Output Width, and Out. I need some more space between these lines. For doing this, open the composition. Then hit CTRL plus K to open the composition settings, and increase the height value a little bit. Go back to main composition, and it's done. Now, on project panel, select the text 1 composition, and hit CTRL plus D to make a duplicate of this. If you make duplicate from here, any changes on text 2 composition will not going to affect the text 1 composition. Alright. Let's bring the text 2 composition on the timeline. Double click to open. And delete the animated text layer from it. Also change this stroke text to fill text. And change it to a different color you like. Now go back to main composition. And copy the motion tile effect from text 1 composition by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then select text 2 layer, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then just drag this layer upwards by holding this anchor point. Now add a keyframe on the title center, then go forward to the end of the timeline. And decrease its value to drag it to the left just like this.
just try to maintain the alignment. Do the same for the second layer, but this type we will animate this to the opposite direction. So this will be the basic animation. Now select the both text layer, and pre-composed it. Give it a name you like. Now open this composition again. We need to change the area of this composition. So press Ctrl plus K to open composition settings, and make the height value to 1920, which is a square. And we need a square shape composition for next steps. We can fix this by changing the output height. Just like this. Now go back to main composition, select the layer, and search for an effect called, CC Cylinder. Apply it on the layer. Change the render mode to outside. And place it just like this. Let's change its name, because we are going to create multiple copies of it. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Let's change its name to In. Now select the layer, and place it like this. Also change the render mode to Inside. The text is inverted right now. To fix this, select the layer, go to transform and flip it horizontal. This is fine right now. Now open rotation, and change the Y axis direction to fix this text. I am just showing you the way, you can take your time to fix that. Now copy this out layer one more time and place it like this. Then make a duplicate of this in layer and place it right after that, just like this. You can fix these by changing the Y axis rotation anytime from here. For this outside part, go to the light option, and change the light value to highlight this portion. Also play with the ambient and diffuse value to make it more awesome. Also you can change the light angle from here. Do the same for the other outside layer. Nice. Now create a null object layer. Then select all four layer, and parent it to the null object. Select the null object and press R to open rotation, and rotate it just like this. Also add a solid layer for the background. And it done. Hit space bar to ramp review it. Looks awesome. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.